The first time you open the Fit app, you will be prompted to create a profile. Enter your email address, and then create a password and a name for your profile. To set up your profile and configure your sharing options, select Profile from the menu. Here you can change the name on your profile, as well as changing your birth date, weight, height. All of your power metrics in the workouts are going to be based as a percentage of your functional threshold power, or FTP. If you know your FTP, you can input it on this screen. If you don't, there are several FTP tests within the app. Change your FTP and auto-calculate to populate zones. For heart rate, if you know your max heart rate, you can adjust that as well. If you don't, 220 minus your age is a good reference. Pick the site you want to share with and connect. It will take you off-site to input your login information for that site. To pair sensors with the Kinetic Fit app, first make sure your sensors are active. If you're using the app with a rote machine or rock and roll smart trainer or with an in-ride sensor, give the trainer a spin to activate the sensor. If you're going to be using it with a heart rate strap, put on the heart rate strap. And if you're using it with a road machine or rock and roll smart control, make sure it's plugged in. Next, hit the menu button and go to sensors. Active sensors should be displayed there. Tap the icon for the sensors you want to pair with. If there are any firmware updates available for your trainer, they will be displayed as a pop-up. Click OK to update. Do not let the app go to sleep or close the app. Make sure the screen stays active. To select a workout, tap the workout button. Workouts are categorized by power zone, as well as the free ride option, which will record your workout, or the workouts to correspond with videos like the Sufferfest or Spinnervals. Custom workouts will show workouts that you've created with the workout creator on kinetic.fit. So we'll select a category, and then select a workout. To select a video to go along with your workout, press the video button, if you've subscribed to one of the streaming options, either Spinnervals or Sufferfest, those will be displayed under Streaming. Local library shows all the videos that are stored on the device, and YouTube library will show your YouTube playlists. There are the Kinetic playlists, and then you can also create your own playlist, and it will show up if you've connected with your Google account. So we'll select the workout that corresponds with that video, and start our warm-up. First, there's a 10 minute warm up, but I'll skip that right now. You'll have a spin down calibration. Accelerate to the target speed. And then let the trainer coast down. Now you can start your workout. To view workouts and video on a second screen via Chromecast, first install the Chromecast hardware, install the Chromecast app, and follow setup instructions in the app. Now you can open your Fit app, pair up with sensors like usual, In the main menu, go to Chromecast and select the device you're going to cast to. Now you can pick a workout. Select a video. Uh, 
Start your warm up. 10 minute warm up as usual. We'll skip through that. Skip the calibration. Then your workout info shows on both screens and the video shows on the second screen. Past workouts are displayed on the main screen of the app. To view an individual workout, tap the workout and workout history will be displayed. You can look at time in zones, both heart rate and power, mean max for the workout. To upload the workout to a third party site, tap the menu in the upper right and then select the site you want to share to.